Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Lone War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our legendary Iron Man playthrough. It's time for Operation Swamp King and we're going to come up against 21 um, enemies in preventing a data leak but we do have a quite sizable SWAT of six people with us uh, that should go down very well. So let's jump into the mission and see how it's going. You can already see we landed on high ground, that's a good decision. Well, well, well. If Snake can sneak up far enough, then we most certainly can destroy that relay, specifically since it is in the open. All right, applicable moves to here. Already seeing the first problems. Nothing that we cannot solve, but still problems nonetheless. Aviator moves down. And gets a little bit closer. I, in a perfect world, I would like to burn all three of them. Hung supports him in the course. Aaron moves up, and you know what? Renman moves up as well. We might engage with that one pack. Oh wow, we can already see a, a very sizable enemy patrol there. Yeah, just in range. I think that's a good start. Let's go. Nice, all three of them were hit. No one was uh, burned though, which is a bit of a shame if you ask me. One sidewinder down. Uh, got implacable, might use uh, that. Um, I will start massaging the turret once we once it's time. For now, uh, let's try to get that berserker. We got it all figured out. Seems doable. Now it's just a matter of getting this guy here down. Not too shabby. Uh, the drone that they have with them is a bit of a problem because it has a huge detection radius. Getting this turret. 
We won't be able to kill it. But next turn it'll go down. <coughs> And I need to throw a flare soon. We'll go around here <clears throat> to get a bit closer. Requesting immediate evac. Good, so much for the evac. These guys are trying to help the turret, which is admirable. <coughs> Impressed yet. Back online. We're using death from above to reload. Good copy, moving on target. Objective like hostiles range. over here. And we can see the objective, which yep, will give us the option to just snipe it. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Already there. Getting all of the loot that we can. Moves to here, moves to there. Ready to go. Let's move already. Affirmative covering now. Yeah, I don't want to use Haywire protocol yet. Come get some. These guys are in a slight amount of panic as they don't know what's going on. They, they might trigger at some point. And what we're going to do in the meantime is hitting the target. Which Implacable does a fantastic job. Fun fact, the shutdown should not uh, cause any triggering, could have even taken it over, but just shutting it down is already good, because they don't know what to do with it. Shutdown left them standing there for a little bit longer. <coughs> Fortunately can't reach them with a rocket, that would be satisfying. Reload Overwatch. Overwatch, Overwatch, and we're good. I mean, there really isn't that much that we need to do at the moment. Looks like they called in some friends. We've stifled their efforts to move forward.
to Overwatch. Got it covered. Overwatch. Overwatch. On Overwatch. First reinforcements are coming. And we're continuously hitting uh, the target. Unfortunately a miss. Wow. Really bad overwatch. Moves up. Hunk gets the stun lancer. Oh yeah, that was indeed good. We're stoically continuing to get that target down. Fifty fifty. Okay, cool. I would have had another another shot. Fabulous. Everybody can move to evac next turn. I made sure that that is in range. Which means really there is nothing more that we need to do. Looking disappointed. More of them coming in. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. I can handle that. Just double checking. Oh yeah, we can easily move there. Clean and straight mission. And the moment when the enemies were realizing that uh, they had been taken advantage of, uh, it was too late. If you run forward, really? Okay, well, does not help you as it was today when you almost caught Captain Jake Sparrow. Not a lot of kill experience, and I certainly could have gotten more loot out of it, but listen, a win is a win. This was quick, clean. Just uh, killing the objective, and sometimes uh, you gotta take these uh, these easier options. I would be stupid if I wouldn't have taken it. Very good. So 
Let's purchase that going forward. That isn't bad. Not bad at all. And that isn't bad either. Defense is great. And 20 defense is a lot. <clears throat> Good look, overall, some experience. Minus four Intel isn't the greatest outcome, but it was okay. We're now having Vigilance 16 uh, there and Vigilance 16 there. So rest assured, the enemy is going to find ways of making our life miserable. Ooh, there is another scientist. I like what I'm seeing. I like what I'm seeing a lot. Operation Winter Tooth is a go from my end. Sector 14, East Asia. So, whom do we put on that? Seems like an easy mission, so almost Imperial Fists were uh, the choice. What's the baseline? Seven to nine, okay. I mean, we could do a quick mid, a quickie with those uh, three over here. And then get a Psy operative, like toxic into the mix. Easy, four days infiltration. Got a good team here. Decent skills. Yeah, I think that should be good enough. And since it's only 7 to 9, like, it's a no-brainer. Yeah, I'll figure that out next time. No, that's good. Let's do this. Okay, another scientist, definitely something that I would love to have. And these missions there are very easy, so might as well use them to our advantage. Uh, corpses, I don't want to sell too many. A couple of Valerium cores would be fine. Data pad is fine. And we still have plenty of corpses if we needed more. Let's do some recruitment. Yes, please, you do have such a nice aim skill. So, Rico, before we're putting you in, either sniper or gunner. I already made up that uh, decision. One, two, three, four, five gunners. Might want another one. One, two, three, four, five sharpshooters. In case of a tie, I want the gunner. Simply because they do have a lot of um, extra damage onto a single target. And I believe that's what we need at the moment. <clears throat> it takes forever to build these radio relays. But it just might be my playstyle where I'm doing everything at once. That's another super easy mission. Okay, we, they got faceless over here, but <clears throat> we could get a lot of resources over there. Good, who else is available for the, those easy missions? So we got the three here. Space Wolves, uh, still on covert action. So 
So we want to train uh, Psi Operatives, which means... Hmm. That would be four days. And if we get a spark going, that'll be almost six days. <clears throat> Let's do the four days and I'll equip these guys. Good, I think we're fine. Uh, thinking about, do we have enough hit points? Might give you a hazmas vest. Good. Now we're fine. And the infiltration still is very, very fast, so we should be good. This area is still easy for us uh, to milk for missions. a decent response team I'm wondering if we should take someone else Pliskit would make everybody faster we got support here we got um, CC um, we also need someone <clears throat> to dish out damage if uh, the Chosen is going to join us. Do we have a higher level gunner available? But these are bond mates, so I don't want to uh, tear up the bond, quite the opposite. I think we should be fine. Uh, Renman should deal a lot of damage and uh, that is going to be a tough mission. If the Chosen appears, that is. Fantastic, we start with um, triggering enemies, that's always how we want to start, right? Paladin moves up and we're rapid firing. Good hit. Venom moves up. Gets this guy down. Look, technically we are in cover. Practically this guy <clears throat> might just jump to here and flank us. Moves to here and Pliskit will do the recon for us. Rolling. 
Moving up. Nothing. Okay. Well, in that case, Renman moves up. Aviator moves up. Oh, I saw something over here. Okay, cool. Or not cool, depending on which side you're routing for. Good, we're being held up by Advent. That's a shot into cover. Let me pr uh, be a little bit more precise. That's a, gra a granite throw, unfortunately. What's our chance to take over that drone? Not too bad. Might as well actually take it. Wow, 60%. Good, that will strengthen our options. He's unfortunately immune. Sorry. Before we do anything, let's try to get this purifier down with conventional means, including utilization of AP rounds. The answer is uh, it worked. Now we're moving up. And this guy here should burn. Very nice damage. Unfortunately doesn't burn. We're staying in the shadows. Plisket is continuing to scout. And hands over an action to Renvin, who hopefully can kill the guy. Still can move forward, which is good. Okay, cool. Moving up. Free reload into rapid fire and hopefully the officer will die. All right, come on. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. Whatever you say. 
Moves into full cover. Flash bangs them. And we are. Moving far enough away from them to not be hit. Good. Good boy. Getting more losses down. Fantastic reinforcements soon are going to spawn. We do have Overwatch going for us. Moving up our Mimic Beacon, aka the drone. Good, we'll take the loot and be done with it. We cannot win a prolonged fight here, so we gotta make it short and sweet when we're fighting against these guys. Berserker will likely choose the easiest target. And in case you wonder why would you position yourself like this, because we do have a protocol and I am willing to use that on Venom to not make her an easy target. I do have another idea. Berserker is by far the most dangerous amongst all of these guys, so might as well just stun him and deal with him next round. I was sort of hoping that that would hit. Good, that's very nice. That on the other hand, not so much. Reinforcements are soon going to come and I for sure don't want to wait for them to actually arrive here. Unfortunately we don't have implacable so that's not going to give us an extra move action. Euler just wants to run away, like a runaway train, never come that. back. Got, it. got some more loot. Surveillance drone moves up and tries to pacify this huge brute here. Nice little disorientation, that's all we wanted. I'm going. Ready to go. Renven overwatches. Finally. 
Aviator, Overwatches. Pliskit positions himself here so that next turn we can give everybody Oscar Mike and they can move up even faster. And I think we've done the rescue part relatively well so far. Again, a missed shot. But luckily for us, these guys are busy with one another. We will get one more turn out of the drone, which will allow us to stun the Berserker. Not even going to kill the drone. I am just moving it up. Stunning the Berserker. Oh, stun for two rounds. I I almost forgot that that was a thing. Euler rushes in. Venom rushes up. And look, Paladin, free reload. Moves all the way over there. We got a couple of overwatches that will work wonders. Said until the end of the round. It's the remainder of the turn, so not an overwatch. And you can't crit an overwatch unless you have a skill for that, anyways. So. I'm trusting you here. Scanning. Scanning. Slowly but surely, he's wiggling him down. Slight reinforcements are incoming. Drone is now again controlled by the enemy. Oh, barely out of range for Euler. Well, that's fine. Do a single move, and then everybody is in range. Time for an Oscar Mike. It is clear. Moves, moves. Uh, moves a lot. Moves. Yeah, movement speed from Oscar Mike is hilarious if you think about it. All right, next turn we should be out of here. Buddy, keep it going. I'm sure at some point you will be able to get him down. Well, not if Advent isn't playing ball. just going to stay here for now next round is going to be the exit
Overwatch, 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 and the losses are coming. Some of them move in our direction, others are not. Wow, we really killed one. Two, sorry. That's the point where you always want to already be out of the mission and we certainly don't want to blow up our own friends. See you later. Could I would overall say that it, that could be considered a successful rescue, wouldn't you agree? No one to be damaged. We cleverly used the loss to our advantage. And we got a couple of kills, 14 actually out of it. So not bad overall. Plus we get an engineer out of it, if I'm not uh, misremembering, because uh, that's what we wanted to do. Cool. Blood Angels did a very good job. Another scientist and that's that is the liberation mission so this is highest priority for us for India. we skipped part two of the liberation the last time we checked let me get the, the blood angels uh, ready and set up all right so we dropped uh, the blood angels and this is now the technician that we finally have gotten let's take a look at <clears throat> additional options form soldiers bond we can cert we could certainly try to find uh, the the stronghold and get ready to get the chosen down <clears throat> hmm The whole intense training is cool. I think out of all of the options this is almost the best. But it requires a tech sergeant, so really high level. I wonder if uh, that kind of needs to tell me, Saiken, you shouldn't be going for these missions yet. They are, uh, the Chosens haven't advanced their knowledge of us yet. I always like to do this kind of well in advance before anything happens, so I wonder if we should be a bit more careful. Tech Sergeant, Gunnery Sergeant, then Master Sergeant. So if the third version requires you to basically have a, um, a Master Sergeant, oh wow, that would, that would be a tough requirement. So if Sonar and Uncle Nuber go into this mission, Let's just double check with the squad management at the moment. That's Grey Knights too, right? 
No, Brain has one actually. And they were on bond training, and now they would be gone for 10 days. But these guys could go on bond training. So in a sense, we would be using the time efficiently. It's just that the Grey Knights would not be available for missions, but at least for bond upgrades and such. Hmm. So if I put both of you onto this mission, that go puts it down to nine days. And put a random specialist onto this as well. And we should be fine. I mean, there is a very, very low chance for an ambush. good with the hit points let me fix that mech rifle really quickly good we'll try that again grandeur take sergeant and venom as a healer Good, we now got proper weapon and let's put AP rounds on you. I just want to go well equipped into those missions. And nine days and we're ready to get the stronghold. Okay. So, things are going decent, let's continue to, to build and maybe Liberation 3 will pop up here. Just wait a second, did we have a Haven Advisor? No. Did we have a Haven Advisor here? Also no. Might put one in here to help you with recruiting. Wait, 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 one that isn't tired. Well, Igor is fine, okay, cool. And we need to do exactly that. That is, I think, the mission with Hogbite and his team. Afterwards, we will let Hogbite and I think Mike is his uh, bond mate train and get bond number uh, level two. Uh, Tracy um, uh, Saint Elliot is part of the Grey Knights as well. Scythe might be recruited to the Grey Knights, so we're going to see about that. And I'm still not 100% sure how I will distribute the Psy operators, the Psykers. Uh, at the moment, I'm just putting them on whatever uh, mission just to get them a couple of levels. And that brings us to the end of today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate your viewership and uh, if you like what you're seeing, leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye bye.